were battered and beaten and it took its toll on us. But it was a new beginning. The judges showed us the path. As their heirs, it is our duty to rebuild this society. I will gladly accept the burden of becoming the new judge. A guardian of humanity. of the judges, we will make this world whole again. Without the influence of idea, it will be a life free from divine oppression. By this, we will honor those who died in the fight that freed us from idea.
As much as I want to, I cannot see Antanas as our spiritual leader anymore. Proclaiming principles and honor, his influence seems limitless, and limits are what he needs. He is determined to fight until the end, and even if this battle is our fate, I cannot condone what he does. Does he not see the humanity in others? Does he really heal them? I think not. Join me and share your doubts. They are like children. They think they freed themselves from the shackles of oppression. But they're nothing more than lost souls. Every single one of them. <laughs> Soon they will realize they are alone. That they are helpless. They will be lying in the streets, starving. Wishing a deer was still here to take care of them.
Was that the last of them? Yes. You didn't need to get involved. Looked to me like you needed my help. We'll secure the area. Caslo is upstairs with Antanas. They're expecting your report. I'm not a soldier. I don't report to anyone. You're right. You're not a soldier. You're not here for honor or duty. It's, as you say, a job. I can't believe he killed all those demons by himself. I've had my share of fears, but... This guy... really scares the crap out of me. How can he be so powerful? Is he taking part in those, you know, experiments? What if he hears you? Hey, don't stand so close. It's making me uncomfortable. There is one heresy that can never be forgiven, and that is defying your true God. This sin is eternal and will haunt generations to come. Our children and their children will curse us, for they are the ones who will continue to suffer because of our grave mistakes. I can't believe he killed all those demons by himself. There he is. I've had my share of fears, but... This guy... Really scares the crap out of me. Psst. There he is. One, this will shape history. Man killed a god. A deer will not interfere with our fate anymore. His priests, of their idol defeated, they've disappeared into the shadows. Like cockroaches when you lift a stone from the ground. Now, it is up to us to smash these very stones on their heads. Our time has come. I see you made it. Thank you again for saving my life. I have another favor to ask, if you have time. Why aren't you with the other monks? We don't really agree with each other. To tell the truth, I don't agree with Antanas' philosophy of exterminating evil and leaving the victims behind. How's your arm? It's still cut off, so it's far from fine. But this saved my life, so I happily accept it. What do you need? My laboratory is in one of the towers outside. I can't get there with all these Rogar running around. And you need me to clear the way? Exactly. I can't share my laboratory with monsters. Only with those I want to save. I'll check it out. Thank you. Let me know when the laboratory is safe. Did you do it? Is it safe there? It should be safe there now. Thank you. I'll meet you there. I'll go as soon as my work here is done.
These books are not just a myth, Ingvar. They exist. I've seen them myself. Last week, Antanas brought them to the monastery under cover of darkness, and would not allow any of us to even touch them. These must be the scriptures we have spoken of so many times. The keys that unlock the pathway to other worlds. This is good. We will be safe now. Antanas awaits you upstairs. Berenon is growing up so fast. I have heard him say his first words, and he has already begun to walk. He enjoys it. He's laughing with every step. It hurts to look into his eyes, for they are his mother's. Sometimes it feels like she is still here, in him, and looking at me. But it's just my imagination. She is gone, taken by an evil that will have no place in this world anymore. I will see to it. How did it go? We won't be seeing any more lords. Excellent. The Rogar continue to attack. As long as they're not lords, we should be all right. Antanas is safe. Our job is done. I want to speak to him now. Not yet. There's more work to do. We will meet you in the planetarium downstairs. Why can't we speak now? Antanas will reveal his plan to you in the planetarium. He can only explain it to you there. We'll meet you downstairs when it's safe. Don't waste time, Harkin. Get to the planetarium immediately. We will meet you there.
Arkin, Kaslo tells me you've been victorious against the Rogar Lords. It is a feat my own men have not managed. They don't die easily. Tell me how you do it. It requires patience. This war has been waged for far too long at far too great a cost. My people are suffering. I cannot protect them as long as I'm trapped in this godforsaken place. Why are the Rogar attacking in the first place? A deer intends to destroy me. I represent everything he fears. What could a god fear? I pull demons from the hearts of men, Harkin. I undo a deer's work right before his eyes. This awoke his fury. And now he's returned. And Tannus has learned how to separate evil spirits from men. He can free them from their dark side. This angers Adir. You can see how cruel he really is. If Adir is victorious, we will all live under his rule. I am the people's guardian. I am the only thing standing between them and Adir. And I will fight this battle until I no longer draw breath. The tide has turned in our favor. Battles have been won, but the war yet wages, Harkin. We should move you to a safer location. No, Harkin. Antanus is the one the Rogar seek. They will hunt him down no matter where he goes. But we have a plan. One that will bring the battle directly to our true enemy. You mean the Rogar? No, Harkin. I mean the god. You showed me little favor on the day you sentenced me to my prison cell. Yet here we stand, you demanding favor from me. That was a long time ago, Harkin. The crimes committed were yours, Harkin, as was the punishment you earned as a result. And now you need my help. Why should I bother? Why should I care? If a deer prevails, he will change the shape of this world. I do not turn a blind eye to your sins. Your violent nature fuels the flames of this battle. But in a world set ablaze by madness and despair, I will fight fire with fire. It's not every day I get to kill a god. Indeed. How am I supposed to do that? You must return to the Rogar realm. Once there, kill the remaining Rogar lords. Once they are gone, Adir will have no choice but to enter the fight himself. And when he does, you finish him. Why has Adir held back? He's a god. His lords have been his proxies in this war. Once you've destroyed them, Adir will have no choice but to step onto the battlefield. In that moment, run your blade through his foul heart and end his existence. I understand. Not all of the lords are in the temple, Harkin. Some of them might be staying closer to the god. You will need this to access the heart of the Rogar realm, the Chamber of Lies. Your gauntlet will be able to open the path inside the Chamber of Lies, if you allow me to prepare it. Luck in battle, Harkin. If we meet again, it will be to celebrate your victory. Harkin. Before you go... Yes? There's something strange going on here. I don't know what exactly, but I intend to find out. difficult task still lies ahead of you, but did you find out something? I could use some help. Here, this might be useful. 
These savage Rogar have ruined my planetarium. Priceless books destroyed, and my device is in pieces. Without them, I can't use it fully. My brother, Simon, has been missing. You. You are Harkin, right? They say you fear no man. It's good to meet you. My name is Matthew. My brother, Simon, has been missing. Where did you last see him? He's a monk, like me. He might be in the wine cellar. He goes there quite a bit. With these... Other meddlers. I just hope he's safe. I'll keep my eyes open. Thank you. So it's true. Antanas is sending you back to the Demon Realm. Why do you care? Some traitorous men under my command fled through the passageway. If you find them on the other side, kill them with extreme prejudice. Their squad has a unique arm tattoo. That'd be the good proof to me that these bastards rot in hell. I have met them already. So they're dead. They were no match for me. Now where is my reward? Reward? Come on. Bring me the evidence first, then we can talk. Curse the moment we saw that beacon. Just the moment we saw that beacon. We lost some good men on our way here. You! What's a convict doing there, roaming free? You must be new here. We just arrived. We saw the beacon and came to help. All two of you. Damn beacon. If we had ignored it, our men would still be alive.
What is this beast? I've never seen anything like it. But you killed it without a second thought. Maybe... Maybe you could help us. Help you? How? In the back of the Citadel, there's a grotesque... thing. Spitting poison. It killed three men. Nobody dares get near it. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I'll be inside, awaiting news. <laughs>